Welcome back, everybody. And thanks for visiting our channel. My name is Matt Senior of 412 Public Safety Equipment Customs here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So I'm shooting this video today um, just to kind of let you guys uh, see kind of a unique product um, that we were able to accomplish for a specific department. This is... Um, This is a custom <clears throat> Phoenix Fusion 800 light stick. This light stick, um, our customer requested a dual color 800 with red amber 40 degree modules in the center six, and then red, red modules in the ends with 180 degree optic so phoenix doesn't offer a dual color module with all 12 red leds the only way that they will manufacture that for you is if you order a quantity of a hundred or more so that obviously wasn't a possibility especially being this was this department's um Pilot 800, I guess, if you will, uh, the first one that they decided to purchase. So that was not a possibility. So we came up with the idea of using a red white end module, 180 degree optic, but making the optic red, which when I fire this up, you will um, see how this runs. Um, it'd be nice to get some comments and opinions on what you guys think um, so it was something that we were able to do that just proves to you why Phoenix a lot of times shuffles people to us because we are the experts and we do figure out ways of getting things done uh, one thing I, I, I think we will do better in the future when you see these end, end modules running you'll notice that the color isn't so red red when the white comes on it's somewhat of a pink now this is going to be behind a tinted window so i'm not sure if that's going to be a problem but i think what i would uh, i would see if we can do next time is maybe just go with a red amber behind the red optic i think that might actually work a little bit better i'm not 100 percent sure um because then again you know, you might end up with more of a green color um, at that point, but I guess we'll just have to see. Um, so, just keep in mind, guys, 412 PSE Customs here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are truly the experts. We are family and first responder owned and operated. We run this equipment every day. You know, so we beat on it, we review it, you know, we only run 
the best of the best. Everything that we sell is 100% American made. I was going to say sell and install, but we have had, uh, we do, we do installs for customers that do a lot of um, supplying their own equipment. So I can't say that we haven't or we won't install something that was made overseas, being that there are main manufacturers like Code 3 and Federal Signal, for example, that do have some products manufactured in Taiwan and uh, what have you. So stay tuned. I'm going to fire this thing up. We're going to take a look at it, go through some of the patterns, and see what you guys think. Interested to see what the comments are. Hold tight. Okay, guys, so we're back, um, and as you can see, we have the um, we have the amber running. And while the amber's running, the end modules are displaying that's the red LEDs behind the optics. So let's flip through these a little bit and see how this runs and we'll see how the white red operates. Now I have put a um, darkening feature on the camera so that you guys can see the light stick a little bit better. If I don't do that, these Phoenix lights will absolutely drown this out and you won't really see much. Okay guys, so there we have the center modules running in red and the end modules that is actually the white LED running behind the red optic. And as I'm looking at the camera, it actually looks a whole lot different on the camera than it does in person. Um, I'm actually more impressed with it like that on camera. So let's go through some... Uh, different patterns and see what we think. This is one of my favorite patterns, the uh, Phoenix exclusive patterns. This is one of those patterns you see running on a 
a vehicle on the street and you can point it out and you know that that's a Phoenix bar going. There's another Phoenix exclusive pattern, actually. I think, anyway. So here we have the dual color mode. Um, not sure if the camera's picking that up, but uh, those center six are kind of flickering between the amber and the red. Kind of plays a trick on your eyes. It, it, I mean, the, the amber when it lights, it's obviously extremely bright, at least in person. But it, it's like tricking the eyes, making me kind of think it has a green tint to it. I don't know if the camera's picking that color change up. It's so similar.
So that takes us back to the beginning of the uh, the first set of patterns there where we had the amber and the end modules in red going. I don't know. Let me get to know what you guys think. Uh, put your comments down below. Definitely share this video with your friends. Um, you know, uh, we will have definitely some new fresh content and always reviewing products. Um, Give me your ideas on what do you think uh, if these end modules worked out the way we did them um, or if you think maybe we could have done something different. Uh, this is the, the way we had to go with this because we couldn't just put the single color end modules in red or the takedowns in red because we had to have the end modules operate in every phase of the dual color bar how it operates so had we done the takedowns in red or just a single color module in red they only would have worked with the red lights or in this case i guess the way it's set up is with the amber because they have the amber set as the primary color but so in one of the functions those two end modules would not have worked and with the arrow function as a matter of fact so they would have been stuck with just the six center modules had we gone that route which was just not acceptable okay i'm gonna switch over and show you guys the arrow functions and patterns with that so bear with me for just a second okay as you can see we have the right arrow going um, right now so uh, I'm going to go through some of the patterns and show you guys kind of the options uh, that we have as far as that also keep in mind another thing uh, to point out just to keep in mind for all you guys that aren't used to the Phoenix products you do have two programmable modes on this and they also come with a steady burn feature even though this bar which i'll show you here real quick uh, even though this bar doesn't have the white full flood function at the push of a button you can steady burn it and you actually have the option to switch that to steady burn whatever you choose i do believe we'll have to we'll have to see if that's let's try that no, maybe not maybe it's just steady burns yeah I guess that may be steady burned in the red function
Also, at any time, you can flip the left angle or left.